Hello, my name is. Oh. Oh. Yes. Wait. Oh. Oh yes. They just walk on water and we everybody has a hearty meal with five rope or bread and two fish. Jesus told his disciple to go on ahead of him. He also told the people go back home. Then they just went up a mountain to pray. The disciple got into the boat. They were going over Bethesda. They couldn't believe. Jesus feed over five thousand people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. Night came. The wind swooshed at the way sloshed the disciple void the boat with all their strength. Their wife became stronger. The disciple couldn't rode the boat. They became very weak. Suddenly they start rowing. Look at that! The disciples were afraid. Someone is walking on the water toward us. The disciples shouted, It's a ghost. It is I. Don't be afraid, the man on the water said, Jesus, shout the disciple. When Jesus got in the boat, the wind climbed down. The disciples were very, even very more surprised. They were alive, became she just was with them. One disciple say, "How can you just walk on the water? How can you just make the wind climb? It because he is the son of God." Say another disciple. She just the son of God. Jesus took his disciple to a high mountain. He went up with Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. The disciple talked to another. Why are we here? I don't know. Jesus must know. Then Jesus' face began to, to shine. Jesus' clothes began to shine. The disciples were very afraid. The Moses and Elijah are prayed and talked with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, I like it here. I want to set up three tents here. One for Jesus, one for Moses, one for Elijah. When Peter was saying this, the shining covered, then this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. God say in the cloud. The disciple were their flight. They fell face down to the ground. When they stood up, 
there was no one is except Jesus. God told us here, Son of God, say the disciple. Now the disciple God know that Jesus was the Son of God. Next story is a, a greedy rich man. I read. There was a rich man. He had a big farm. He had a big storehouse. He had a good houses. He had a lot of money. The rich man didn't know what to do with all those things. I have to build a more storehouse, say the man, they are going to make bigger storehouses. The disciple man loved the things he had. He loved this thing more than he loved God. The rich man didn't thank God for the things he had. He didn't share them with his neighbor. He said, I will enjoy it all the thing I have. I want to give anything to others. They are all mine. I need them all. You will die tonight, say God. I you if you die tonight others will take everything you have. The rich man didn't want to listen to God. He didn't even believe it that he died and that night after all. The, then other people came to took everything what the rich man had. God gave everything to us. You we have to share our thing with your friend. Yes, today I read the Bible if you wanna eat you enjoy yes, I'm enjoying yes, see you next time. Bye.